Hi guys, Brian from Anarchy Models here. Today we're going to be looking at how to clean and look after your stencils. So if you've been spraying away with one of your stencils, after a while you're going to have it uh, covered in paint, obviously. So we'll just spray this one a bit here. So you'll end up with your spray in your model or whatever and your stencils got paint on. Now it doesn't matter if you uh, don't wipe it off straight away, you can leave it till it's actually fully dry if you wanted to. Um, but basically once you've finished using it, um, this is the easy way to clean it. So to start with, you will lay down some paper towel. And this is to catch all the paint that you're wiping off so you don't get it everywhere. And the other thing you want to use um, is just a cloth. Um, if you try and use paper to scrub the top, bits of the uh, bit of the paper towel will kind of get in all the bits of the stencil. So something like this, just a thin cloth from like you have in the kitchen, um, this isn't going to break up as easy, so you don't get all bits in your stencil. Um, so what do you clean it with? Well, you'll clean it with whatever you would normally clean your airbrush with for that paint. So this is some Vallejo paint that I've just sprayed on here. So I would use Vallejo airbrush cleaner um, for that. If I was spraying some other type of paint, I would use their own cleaner if they have one. Um, or if it's just something else that you would normally clean, say like you're doing enamels, you might use white spirit to clean the airbrush with. Um, you would use that, obviously you'd wear some gloves. But it's, it's whatever you would normally clean that paint up, off your airbrush or off whatever, that's what you'll need to clean the stencil with. And they are solvent proof, so you can use harsher stuff on it if you need to. So anyway, so we get some airbrush cleaner. On the cloth, don't need too much, and then you just wipe the stencil. And you'll notice that the paper towel underneath is catching all the excess paint. So you can see, pretty much clean ready to be used again. Now that's obviously one we've just freshly used, if you do forget to clean the stencil um, then you can still clean off the dry paint that's been on there. This one's been dry on there I don't know, maybe about a week um, maybe a bit longer, I'm not sure. Um, but you can do the same thing so just some airbrush cleaner. It will be harder to take it off if it's fully dry um, but it can be done depending on the paints you're using. Some paints might not might be harder, some paints might be easier, but as you can see um, you can wipe off paint that's been on there for quite a while if you've got the right cleaner and the right paint. So again the cloth underneath, the paper underneath sorry, is catching all the extra paint and that way the back of the stencil is also clean um, if you try to sort of wipe it off in your hand or something, you'd have all wet, watery paint over your hand. Um, so you always do it over some paper towel. And that's cleaning, that's, that's all there is to it. Um, again, if you can clean them off but as soon as you've finished using them, you will find it a bit easier. Um, some really fine detail areas like this, if necessary, you might find it useful to use a toothbrush and you can scrub into the thin lines. But again, you would do it over the paper. Um, to save mess. So the other question people ask is how to store them. Uh, well, when we send them out, we send them out in a nice sturdy card envelope like this. Uh, it's a good idea to keep these if you make orders from us so you can store them in there. The other option is something like this, which is like you get from the stationery shop. Um, it's just a, just like a display folder um, and uh, you could use this to store your stencils in. If you want to, then you can easily see what they are and flip between them if you've got lots of stencils. Like that. Um, but the main thing is if you don't have something like this or any card envelopes, the main thing is you store them flat. Um, they are quite sturdy, but if you leave it all screwed up somewhere and it gets like a heavy weight put on it. Um, you can damage it, um, so it is best if you can just to store them nice and flat, um, however you can. Okay, well thanks for watching guys, cheers then, bye.